Yo, what's going on, guys? Houston Sports Talk back in the video today. And the Phoenix Suns have made another move. And I think everybody really thought that the most aggressive team in the buyout market would be the Phoenix Suns. Um, after trading for Kyrie, I mean, sorry, after trading for Kevin Durant and having to give up some major players like Cam Johnson and Cam Johnson and Mikel Bridges, I think not only would the Suns be interested in a lot of buyout players. Uh, players but i think a lot of buyout players would be interested in the suns so um both sides would definitely agree and terrence ross shooting guard for the orlando magic finally we get to see him leave the magic I, you know i did I, so long i've wanted to see him you know get out of there um and be on a contender i liked him in orlando when orlando was good but it's been years, like two or three years since Orlando's been a good team. So in that case, I wanted him to move on. And I think he's a he's definitely a good spot for a contending team. And after the Suns trade that they made, a couple of the Suns trades that they made, like getting rid of Saric um, and another trade, and then getting rid of Johnson and Bridges for Durant, I, they needed to add in some pieces off the bench for their roster after the KD trade, and I love this addition. Averaging eight points per game this season, shooting 36 or 38% from three. Good shooter, good scorer, just a good playmaker as well. Really love the addition for the Phoenix Suns. Adds to their depth. Um, they needed to add some depth. I mean, right now their starting lineup is you got Chris Kroll at the one, of course, D-Book at the two, at the three, you got TJ Warren. At the four, you got KD. At the five, you got Aiden. Off the bench is a little shaky for the Suns. You got Damian Lee as the backup point guard. Now you got Terrence Ross as the backup two. You have newly acquired Darius Baisley at the three. Um, and then you also have, off the bench, you also have Josh Kogi and then Jock Landell. It's not the best bench. I mean, Terrence Ross definitely will be a boost, and Darius Baisley is a nice talented player like Damian Lee as well a Kogi's been playing pretty decent as well and Landell hasn't been bad himself but for you know a team who's supposed to be winning a championship or or at least be in championship contention I don't think this is the best bench so if I'm the Suns I got to be a little more aggressive in the buyout market you have to make at least one more move in the buyout market so yeah, if I'm the Phoenix Suns, you got to make one more move. Terrence Ross is a good addition. I think he helps with, you know, s someone like Darius Baisley. Uh, but, I, you know, I like Damian Lee and I like, jo I like Jock Landell. But for a, for a you know, can, a team who should or, or definitely could represent the West in the West, uh, sorry, the West in the NBA Finals this year and could damn win it all with, you know, their three best player, four best players. I would say, honestly, I would call it a big four with Durant, D Book, Chris Paul, and Aiden. I would honestly call it a big four, but it's just who they got around them. After that big four, you know, they can't do it all. They need some help around them. And I don't know if, you know, TJ Warren, Terrence Ross, Darius Baisley, and, and Damian Lee are enough. So if I'm the Suns, I, I would be aggressive and one more move in the bout market. Currently, the you know, the only guys that are available right now in the buyout market are Patrick Beverly and John Wall, which I don't think either one of those guys will be you know guys that'd be interested in. Uh, but there's going to be plenty of other guys who get you know waived or bought out. Danny Green by my Houston Rockets should be waived um, or bought out. So in that case, I do think that there's definitely going to be. You know, and I, Danny Green is not going to be a fit for the Suns because they just signed Terrence Ross. So th there will definitely, I would think definitely, maybe, because uh, I said I don't know if Jock Landell's you know the a backup, a good backup for them right now. So maybe if a center gets bought out or, or waived, maybe you go after them. I don't know. I'm just thinking about options for the Suns bench. Because the Suns are going to be good in the playoffs. I mean. I mean, like, really good. Because, you know, look at some of these teams in the West def. I mean, look at teams like the Clippers def. Um, I know they're not in the playoffs right now, but if they get in the playoffs, look at the Lakers def. Look how much def they have. Um, even Denver has a lot of def. And just and the Suns, yes, they have the most talent. But, I mean, teams like the Clippers and um, I wouldn't say Dallas because they traded some players, but they're they're 
their front, I mean, sorry, yeah, their backcourt is really scary, though. But some of these teams, like the Clippers, who are stacked, I mean, if you look at the Clippers roster with death wise and next to Kawhi and PG and possibly could be adding Russell Westbrook, their team is stacked with, with really good players. Um, so, like, if, you know, like, the Suns match up against the Clippers in the playoffs, honestly, I think the Clippers would win just because of how much better depth they have overall. Uh, they have a, the Clipper, the, the Suns have more talent, but the Clippers have a better overall team, right? I mean, the Suns have D-Book and, and, and KD, Chris Paul, and Aiden, but, you know, Suns can, you know, have a huge 12-man rotation. I don't, they're not going to be running a 12-man rotation in the playoffs, but, you know, they got a lot of talent on their team. So, I mean, yeah, I, if I'm the Suns, I'm at least trying to get one more guy. I don't know. I don't, maybe Pat Bev can be someone they'd be interested. I don't know. I definitely think that they could or should add in another point guard. Because, like I said, I like Damian Lee. I just don't know if he's the guy if, you know, going into the playoffs. So maybe they're interested in adding a point guard from the buyout market. Maybe Pat Beverly. You know, that brings in some defense, some intensity. I could like a Pat, Me- a Pat, Pat, Pat Patrick Beverly to the Suns idea. Who knows what he's thinking. I don't even know if that's an official uh, agreement with the contract buyout, but um, definitely the Suns, I think, have to make one more move in this buyout market. But you guys let me know your thoughts, and that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and peace out.